agriculture. It's the basis of modern life. Not Wi-Fi, not driverless cars, not that device in your pocket, but agriculture, because agriculture is literally what feeds the world. And who is doing this feeding of the world, you might be wondering. You're probably thinking of large grain silos, feedlots, big tractors, but actually you couldn't be farther from the truth. It's family farmers on small farms scattered across the global south that are responsible for feeding 80% of the world's population. So it would be reasonable to assume that before governments started incentivising these smallholder farmers to grow things like crops for biodiesel production, that we'd have a really good idea of how these farmers construct their livelihoods. In fact, we don't. My research asked, why do smallholder, smallholder farmers participate in biodiesel production? And how do they fit biodiesel production into their broader livelihoods? For example, um, do they stop growing food crops when they start growing uh, biodiesel crops? Um, these questions are really important to be able to address, especially as we move into a century that is going to be defined both by how we feed the global billions as well as how we transition into renewable energies such as biofuels. My name is Serena Killam. I'm a doctoral researcher at the Institute for Sustainable Futures in the University of Technology, Sydney. You can find out more about smallholder farmers and biodiesel production at my institute's website, which is www.isf.uts.edu.au. Thank you.